Hey guys, Rick Stone here from the blog Our Stony Acres and the Online Gardening School. Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays, my video series where I try and give you a valuable gardening tip in 5 minutes or less. Before we get started this week, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you're watching this on Facebook, please make sure that you like my Stony Acres Facebook page. So, as you can tell, we're not out in the garden this week. We're actually in my office. And the reason why we're in my office is this window well right here, okay? So uh, we're going to talk today about storing potatoes, carrots, onions, things like that, vegetables in a little garden hack that I call a window well root cellar. And this is actually the window well that we use as a root cellar in the wintertime. Uh, it's still early fall and so you'll see later on in the video I'm actually just putting this out. But uh, this is the window well that I use uh, to store our potatoes in. And so I wanted to be in here and actually show you and talk to you a little bit about that. So before we start with the actual root cellar, let me talk a little bit about conditions for storing vegetables and even some fruits. You need to try and store your potatoes, carrots, onions, things like that at as low of a temperature as you possibly can, preferably 40 to 45 degrees. If you can get somewhere with that kind of a temperature, your vegetables are going to last fresh a lot, lot longer than they would otherwise. And so you can't do that usually in your basement, even in an unfinished basement, it's not going to get that cold. Trust me, I've tried. We've had potatoes going bad in December and January because it's just not cold enough. And that's why we came up with this idea is so that we would have the option of actually storing our potatoes someplace cold. So here's the hack. Um, this is an outside shot of the actual window well. You can see it's about four feet deep. And we start out by covering the window well with this material. So this is a one inch foam insulation. And you can get these at most of your home improvement stores. Shouldn't be a real big deal to find it. And we cover the, the, the window well up first with a tarp and the tarp is there to keep the light out. And then we put the insulation on top and then we throw a couple of just boards over that. And then I throw another tarp on top of that so that we're kind of as, as watertight as we can be and, uh, and, and again, light tight as well because we don't want light in there, especially if we're storing potatoes. Uh, so once I've done that and it's in the fall is what I'll do is I'll pull, actually pull that top back at night and that will let some of the cold air come in and then I push it over the top. And I'll do that for a week or so just to try and kind of get things cooled down inside the root cellar uh, before we really start using it. And then once I've, once I've done that, you know, for a week or so and we get that temperature down as low as we can, then I just go ahead and we're going to just leave that insulation in place. Then the other thing that we need to do is we also need to insulate the window. And that's what this piece comes in for. So I cut two pieces that are this size because we want to insulate this window as well because you've got heat that's going to come out from your house into the root cellar. Plus you're also going to have light that's going to get out into the root cellar. And so I want to put some insulation up against the glass and I cut it into two pieces so that it's easy to work with. One piece is just going to stay up against that part of the window that's always going to be closed. The other piece is there so we can move it out of the way and uh, use the, the when, you know, be able to get in and out of the root cellar. And then you just got to basically maintain and watch the temperature of the root cellar. I put a thermometer in there and I try and keep that temperature around 40 to 45 degrees. For us in a zone six, this is enough insulation to do that. The biggest worry that you're going to have is, is you don't want it to freeze. So if you live somewhere colder than we do, you know, maybe a, a four or five, even a three or a two, if you live somewhere that cold uh, for your garden zones, then you may actually want to insulate the inside of the window well as well so that you can keep that temperature. You want to try and maintain that temperature at 40 to 45 degrees the best you can. And the biggest worry is, is that you don't want your vegetables to freeze because freezing is bad news for vegetables. It'll ruin them if they get frozen. So you need to keep an eye on that, especially if you've got a big cold snap coming. You need to maintain and see what's happening with your window well root cellar because this is definitely not a perfect solution. Okay, for us in a zone six, I can pretty well from about November until March, I can maintain that 40 to 45 degrees. But if you're someplace colder or warmer, you're going to struggle a little bit more. So you're really going to kind of tweak and play with this. The other thing that I did want to talk about is location, choosing which, which window well to use. This one is actually facing east, so that's east. And I, that's a good spot. West would also be a good spot for it. For us, north would not be a good place because there's never any sunshine on the north side of our house. And so a, a window well on the north side of our house 
would not be a good choice because it would always be cold. And the same polar opposite reason for the south is that we would have sunshine on that quite often and, and I would be worried about keeping the temperature down low enough on the south side. Now, if you live somewhere colder, south side may end up being the, ch the choice because that may be the only place that you can keep the temperatures above freezing. So you're just going to have to play with it a little bit and decide what to do you know, in your yard. If you live in a warm area, the north side of the house may be your best choice because that may be the only window well that gets you know, lower temperatures. So just kind of play with it and, and you know, see how it goes depending on your climate. So this hack has actually changed our potato storage uh, around our place. We, we grow two to 300 pounds of potatoes a year. And it used to be that by January, we were running out of um, time because those potatoes were starting to wither and sprout and all kinds of stuff. Now we're able to keep our potatoes usually until about the middle to late April, depending on how many we have we're able to keep them in there and, and, and they stay good. So it's been a game changer for us. We've been using this now for four years and we really love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like my Stony Acres Facebook page. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And that's all I have for this week. So everybody have a great week. Happy gardening.